it is on the right that we, who constitute the largest single country in Africa, the most populous in Africa, are not badly off as far as resources are concerned. It is only meet and proper that at the very early stages of our independence, we should make our position in this matter very, very clear. There should be no doubt where Nigeria stands in this matter. So I'll take this opportunity once more. Asan, Portugal, all along, has been behaving as if she's not aware of the changes that are taking place in the world today. We do not hate her. But we love our Africans more. And I'm taking this opportunity to serve Portugal with notice that while Nigeria does not hate Portugal, Nigeria can never agree with Portugal on an issue, which means that the people of Africa in Angola will be held under thraldom and no attempt will be made to give them the opportunity to live life more abundantly. And Portugal should learn a lesson from what is happening in the Congo. It, I said here that I was going to read a document. That the great powers who profess democracy, who profess high ideals, who desire peace in the world, will see that by eradicating all forms of colonialism and opposing all forms of imperialism, you will be achieving one of the objectives, indeed one of the corners of achieving world peace. Colonialism and imperialism go hand in hand with war and destruction. You cannot maintain imperialism by peaceful means.